Hey folks, after a beautiful weekend with temperatures cool all weekend long, we've rebounded today. No kidding, southeast winds pushing temperatures back in the 90s, even now still 91 plus in the western part of the valley. Brown's a little cooler at 89 and Port Isabel checks in at 87. Overnight, we don't cool off much. Look at these numbers, back in the mid-70s again. And then tomorrow, our highs are right back in the mid-90s. Those numbers are not right. We'll look at those on the seven-day forecast coming up in a few minutes. Let's look. Here are our high temperatures the next three days. 87 is the normal. It's gone down another notch tomorrow. 95 for tomorrow, 88 for Wednesday, and then only 82 on Thursday. So the impact of the front will be felt, and it's not so much that cool air is pushing in. I think our rain chances go up for the second part of the week. Let's look at future track, and it says tonight's pretty quiet. Patchy clouds, not much more than that. Then during the daytime tomorrow, I think there's a fair amount of sunshine, partly to mostly sunny skies. There could be a few clouds around, but not much. But we get into Wednesday, and here comes the next front. Now, this front not nearly as strong as Friday's front. But it comes in with perhaps a shower or a thunderstorm, spotty stuff. It goes south and we see just scattered activity, maybe a little bit of rain on Wednesday, but not all that much. But Thursday, look how the rain chance jumps to 60%. And I think in the lower valley, it may be higher than that. In the western part of the valley, it could be lower. So from McAllen or westward, you may get nothing. But Brownsville, you could see some pretty good rain on Thursday. The system that's going to move up the coast is going to affect the coast certainly more than the rest of the valley. We'll look at that in a second. These are the currents, 90 San Antonio, but only 72 in Dallas, 74 in Abilene. There's an awful lot of moisture up there. Our front has pushed back to the north and it's now stationary over the northern part of the state. But watch what happens. That front moves out, turns into a warm front, pulls away. Here comes the next one. The tomorrow's in the state and Wednesday morning is very near us, triggering some showers and again, maybe a thunder shower, but you don't see much. But down to the south, a little tropical entity, we'll call it, is pushing westward, probably across the Bay of Campeche. And some of that moisture comes up and over the front on Thursday. And notice how there's just a lot of moisture right along the coast, but the western part of the valley is dry. So it could be one of those days where we have a big contrast from one end of the valley to the other, where a coastal community see a fair amount of rain, where from McAllen westward you see almost nothing. Now, this is that tropical entity that has some chance of developing the next two to five days. If it gets out in here, it's going to get sheared pretty big time. Uh, some of the models say the core of this actually goes into the Pacific, so we'll wait and see. Go out into the Atlantic and other systems got a 20% chance of developing over the next two to five days. You know, we're getting to that time of year where storms like this can impact parts of the U.S., but probably not us. Other side of the Atlantic, we have depression number 15 right there, the coordinates of it just to the uh, south of the islands out there. The winds are 35 miles per hour. It's expected to go almost due north. We're probably becoming a tropical storm, and that's about it, and then weakening out in the eastern Atlantic, so probably not a threat to any landmass at all as it stays out there in the middle of the Atlantic Basin for a while. So for tonight, your first one, five accurate with the forecast is partly cloudy with patchy fog later on. Uh, the moisture from the weekend still kind of sticking around. Then tomorrow, partly cloudy. It's a mainly dry day, south to southeast winds, but back to 95 again. But the changes come Wednesday, Thursday. Again, the front not particularly strong. You can tell by the nighttime lows, they don't go down much, but the rain chances increase into Thursday. Taper off Friday. The weekend is mainly dry, just spotty showers. And then another front on Monday. Looks like it might be a little bit stronger. We'll keep an eye on that one as we get closer to it. That's your updated First One Five AccuWeather Forecast.